Hello everybody, it's your favorite West Virginia on Space here, and Marvel Midnight Suns has come out recently. And honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna get it yet because I don't just casually have $60 to spend. I mean, I do, but I don't spend $60 on video games. But all to say is the game did come out, and I think it looks pretty good. I think it will do well, and I really hope it does. But that does lead to an interesting thing I've noticed. In a lot of, de at least some developer trailers and interviews, and even some reviews, they mention the fact that you know, the whole, a lot of people were at least expecting, I think, the idea that you'd be date, able to date the characters, or Hunter Wood, and, and well, I'll correct for me, I don't care, it seemed kind of weird to me, and, but that is leading to an interesting question, why was the developers so quick to point out that that can't happen, like that, that was one of the first things they pointed out, it feels like an odd detail, and every now and again they reinforce it, it feels odd, so I got to thinking, I think there are two main reasons for why this happened, or why they didn't have that implemented to the game. But so, let's get started with that. But first, I think it's time for an outfit change. Ah, much better. You know, I have to get in the Midnight Sun suit. Okay, the first reason is probably the most obvious in that, let's be perfectly honest here, the whole thing is kind of a bit cringy. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, you know, like, it would be kind of weird. No, not weird, it just, you know, a little bit off, maybe. I'm not sure what the exact term is you would use for have a Marvel game where it's like you make your own custom character that at least in some cases will be based off yourself, and then you end up dating some of the Marvel characters. I mean, once again, there is an appeal to that, to just look at all the dating games that exist. But it is kinda cringy, and for what may and for what I'm asked to a pretty major Marvel property, uh, i.e. I mean that it has the big main Marvel characters in a game that isn't even really focused about this. This isn't like a, a mean kind of situation where it's like how Dead by Daylight had its um, hooked on you thing. It's not like that, where it's specifically supposed to be this kind of stupid and silly spin-off. This is a relatively serious game that's trying to be a relatively, you know, serious game, not some kind of joke thing, and, well, that would probably detract from it. I mean, at least that's my suspicion, and maybe it wouldn't be cringy next time how you do it, but once again, it would be a big thing to have to implement, and there'd be a whole lot of questions around it, and I just think that's majorly why. I think if Marvel wanted to let people do that, you know, Marvel have a game about that, they would, like I said, make something like Hooked on You with some other kind of dating game, and I just don't think it has the same sell appeal people think it does. I think a lot of people just kind of thought it would be there, the romance option in the game, and people were kind of weirded out when it wasn't there, but no one, I don't think that many people really wanted it, if that makes any sense. Oh boy, now it's time to get into the big chungus reason. My opinion, what quite possibly might be the biggest reason why it didn't happen, was fundamentally character sexuality. Now, what else on earth am I on about? Well, we have to look at the characters involved in the game. You see, unlike some other video games, these characters already exist. I mean, the ten, you know, the major Marvel characters, except like Hunter. These are already pre-established characters with pre-established personalities, character traits, and the whole jazz. And this game isn't doesn't isn't really about reimagining those characters in any particular way, just putting them in a fun and interesting situation. So generally speaking, the, ex the expectation is that all the characters will act like the characters they are. <laughs> so we won't be seeing any major changes from their relatively standard personalities, as I'm guessing. So that does create a problem, is that, well, most of these characters have no real interest in most people. What I mean by that specifically is... There are just some characters who just aren't going to appeal to certain characters and players and types. Now, we have to be honest here is that the game does not seem to have a gender function. It seems to just have, like, you're the hunter and that has body types. But let's just go with this assumption that there's just male and female here for the second of this game. And, but just as an example, if they ever do add, like, pronouns or whatever, that would just complicate the issue even further. But anyway, is that fundamentally a lot of these characters just are interested in half the players. I mean, set most of them, about, when you factor in numbers and percentages here, it would be kind of annoying since to half the players who make a character, half the roughly would be off the table. They just wouldn't be available for that unless you made massive changes to how the characters are generally depicted acting. So that would be tricky. Also be a bit unfairly biased as according to my research, what best I can find, which, by the way, is way harder than you think. Um, about seven out of the characters prefer women over any, or would, would date a woman, why the other character, why any other group is significantly less. 
this is a mixture of factors that lead to this, but it does create an issue where that would be a bit unbalanced content wise, which is something you may want to avoid. But it also feeds into other issues as well, is that, well, fundamentally, a way you could get around this is have it be open to all characters, regardless of what the player character is. But then again, you're kind of making changes to those characters, which is kind of weird on a conceptual level. Regard, like, It's not that you couldn't do that, but it would be opening a can of worms, is what I'm trying to say here, is that regardless of how they could approach it, if they want to add that, it would be a big can of worms they'd be opening of like potential controversies and fans getting mad or people getting mad or random people on the internet getting mad. And this controversy could have very easily consumed the game. It would have been all about, oh, this char- oh, we can't date this character because of X thing, or oh, they changed character because so they, they appeal to X community. It would have been a bit of a nightmare. So quite frankly, the easiest option would be to just remove it. I think that was the goal. And the idea is they just want to make a cool game. You know what I mean? They're not interested in a romance game. And fundamentally, if they were to have that, it could very easily open a can of controversy that would consume the game and quite possibly kill it on arrival. As there's no way a big controversy about who you can and can't romance in the game wouldn't end badly, or at the very least hurt sales. So fundamentally, I think they just chose the smart option, which is to just not have it in the game and avoid the conflict. They wouldn't have to make any big choice on that, and they could focus on making the game, you know, about the game. That's my personal opinion, though. But once again, I could be wrong. I'm not in the developers' heads, you know what I mean? And maybe they said in an interview that I missed about why they didn't do it, and I'm completely wrong, or I'm completely right. I don't know. But ultimately, that's just my opinion, and I hope I can see you all next time. Yeah. Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscribble. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.